Dr. Conrad Stephan was a renowned glaciologist who spent much of his life studying Greenland's melting ice sheet. If you ever talk or think about melting ice caps, then we should all know about him because he literally spent his life studying about climate change. This 68-year-old climate scientist was from Zurich, Switzerland, born on 2nd of January 1932. With an expertise in glaciology, he spent 30 years of his life studying the shrinking Greenland's ice sheets. Glaciology is the scientific study of glaciers or more generally ice, a natural phenomenon that involves ice. His research helped confirm that water from shrinking ice sheets is making sea levels rise, threatening coastal communities. Dr. Stefan and his team had established a camp which was their research station, about which he said, once buried beneath the ice, the camp's thin wooden legs now protrude more than a dozen foot out of the surface. The station is falling apart because the ice is melting away. The context of what he was telling, or in fact warning us, was regarding global warming and the climate change as a consequence of it. Stay with us as we try to brief up his research and the warnings that he gave to the world backed up by his own research data, which claimed that the Greenland ice sheet has lost more than 3.8 trillion tons of ice since 1992 rising the global sea levels by half an inch. Dr. Stefan and his colleagues had estimated that Greenland's average temperature will increase by 4 to 5 degrees Celsius by the year 2100. What he was trying to say is that climate change is rising temperatures in the Arctic and Greenland much faster than any other parts of the planet. And the explanation to it is a phenomenon called ice albedo feedback. What this means is that when the melting ice exposes water, which is much darker, so it absorbs more sunlight than the light deflecting ice thereby accelerates warming. In other words, even if we cease every single global warming activity today itself, the ice will keep on melting, inferring that a point has been reached where the damage has just automated itself and there is no going back. All this fieldwork and publishing research was a service to the world he was leaving. By trying to warn humanity about the ill effects of the disastrous change, he indeed did a service to humanity. On Saturday 8th of August 2020, Dr. Stefan fell into a deep crevice of water as part of the ice sheet he was conducting his study on breaks and buckles beneath him. His colleagues later found a hole in the ice, but his body had vanished. Prior to deglaciation, such crevices were unheard of, was a statement by a climate scientist at the University of Leeds, which could infer that the crevice Dr. Stefan fell into was a result of global warming. During his lifetime, Stefan had worked hard to make leaders and politicians aware of climate change. In 2007, he brought a US congressional delegation led by Nancy Pelosi to the Swiss camp he was working. But he often felt these efforts were fruitless. He would say, sometimes it's frustrating. I don't see any global actions taken. Dr. Stefan's words continues. I think there is some kind of a myth that, oh, we need scientists to solve this problem. Science is there to give an insight, but the community together with scientists have to solve the problem. 